Hello everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques. I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. And I am making a video today. I'm going to show you guys the uh, brand new used gumball machine. I know it's kind of weird. I said in some other videos that I actually wanted to get into the vending machine business. And I went to an auction yesterday and I bought this vending machine. I bought this gumball. Turn it for me, Noah. Show them how it works. It's called a U-turn. Just just turn the whole unit. It pivots. Oh. Yeah, there you go. It turns like that and it has four dispensers in there you can fill up with candy. And it's super cool. There's a gumball lodged in it. I'm going to try to get it apart. I don't have the key for it. Um... I've read on some forums that sometimes that you can uh, manipulate the lock on the top to get it open, so we're hoping that we can do that. Um, it's kind of dirty. Spin it around for me. If you look in the bottom there, if you look like along the side here, there's candy garbly gook. So I'm going to try to get it all apart. From what I've seen in the videos, each one of these are individual containers, so I'm going to take them out and take them apart and soak them because uh, some of them keep going. This one here looks like it's got a lot of really nasty, you can stop, there's a lot of really nasty like syrupy stuff in there. So I'm going to guess that it's probably not in the best shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it and make sure there's no parts that need to be ordered. Um, I don't have a key. If I can't get the lock off the key, uh, or if I can't get the lock out without the key, then I'm going to have to drill it. Um, and then I'll have to order a new lock. But the top of it is all... Uh, it's all dirty. I don't know if that's scratched up because it feels like it's raised. I'm hoping that once I take it in there, and because um, it looks like it's scratching off, that once I take it in there and I soak it, that this stuff will all uh, that it'll all come off. So I'm hoping that'll clean up, and then I won't have to repaint it. I was thinking about repainting it, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's see. Like I said, there's some numbers on the side of the lock. It's it's kind of loose, so we're not sure what we're gonna do. Is I've got like a. Uh, I've got like, oh yeah, the I've got this letter opener. What we're going to do is just going to try to stick this down in here and see how it turns. We're not sure. We're going to see if we can get it to back out. Looks like it's just going to back out pretty easy. Looks like it doesn't even, no, we don't even need that. That's cool. That'll work out really good for us. And that's the lock. I guess it's missing the, uh, the mechanism. You can buy these for like $10 shipped. So I'll probably... Um, end up trying to find the lock and seeing how this works. But if you want, you can put that over there for me. Can you take the top off for me, Noah? There we go. And it looks like underneath of it here is what's underneath? Is is it clean underneath? It looks yeah, real it looks clean really underneath. Clean. Yeah. And then this here, that just slides off. You want to take that and put that over there? We got the rock star coming in. Rock star mama. That looks like it could be cleaned up a little bit. And on the other side, it's just it's just foam. Huh, how about that? It looks like there are four individual containers here. There's a gumball that's lodged there. I'm not sure how we're going to get that out. Um, probably have to take them apart, but if you look, the insides of the containers are pretty dirty. There's a couple scratches on the outside of it. Nothing I can really do about that. I might look and see if there's any way to take scratches out of this plexiglass. That's a big, long scratch right there, but um, for the most part... It, it turns really well. The base is dirty. I need to re clean the base off, uh, but that should be fine. So we're going to take, you want to help me take these off one at a time? Yeah. We'll see if we have any quarters in here. See if we can find any hidden loot. So just to probably just pull up, I guess. Yeah, just pull up. They pull up. And you can set them on the floor down there. Grab that one out. There we go. Oh, there are some quarters in there. A couple. Looks like we got one, two three quarters so if I paid the two bucks for this we're already in it we're already in the green well not in the green where it's we're just down a buck uh, buck and a quarter so that ain't too bad let's take let's take these out can you take them out for me so I can so it looks like all the mechanisms are pretty inexpensive here they don't look like they're metal or anything but can you take these trays out for me I'm gonna take these quarters and we're gonna try the mechanisms, but take the take the trays. There's two quarters. Tray with a quarter. Oh, and drop the quarter. And grab that other tray out. I want, leave that tray there. I want to see how this works. Okay. I want to see how it how it.
Oh, so it just pushes it down into there. Yeah, it just jumps over into there. That one works. Let's see if this one works. And that one works. So far, yeah, it looks like they all work. Um, looks like we might have an issue with this one over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, looks like some teeth are broken off, so we might have to order a sprocket. But I'm sure we can get that a heck of a lot cheaper. And that's probably from bad maintenance. I, I think you can see the syrup here. See how nasty that is? That's that's probably from inadequate maintenance of their vending machine. So that will never happen with us. If we, uh, if we have machines, we're going to make sure that they are well taken care of. And it's pretty clean inside. Uh, other than that, it looks like it'd be a pretty easy fix. Looks like it's just a little screw that holds that little sprocket piece on. And, uh, yeah, so we'll clean it up a little bit. We'll wash the containers, and once we get them washed, we'll do a video putting it back together and show you guys um, what we did uh, to put it back together. So here we go. See you in just a minute. Okay, so I've cleaned this up, and it actually cleaned up really well. I cleaned one up, and then I've got the piece over here. I'm going to step over here, and I'm going to show you. How this goes together. I had to switch the lenses. I'm actually using my wife's, see the look on her face, Canon uh, T6i to do this video on because I wanted to see how well that it, uh, how well it works for video. It's a real nice camera, but let's see how well it does for video. But anyways, this is the sprocket and this is the piece that fits down in it. And if you notice, uh, it has different numbers. It has 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And this has 9, 7, 5, 3, and 1. So I'm going to have to do some research. I'm not exactly sure what that means. But I know that if you set it here, that each, I guess it, you know, you set it the different, that's, that's all, that's wide open right there. That'll give you a full vend, like a full, maybe a 1 ounce, or maybe that's 3 ounces, and maybe this is 1, uh, two ounces and maybe that's one ounce um, so I'll have to check and do some research on their website but when you come over here and you go to two and you go to three and go to four five and then it does the same thing I think that this is just set a little bit different to where you have a little bit more precision on your measurements if you see then when you go over here um, it's interesting. I don't know if you guys are interested in this at all, but I, I think it's pretty cool. So you put that, you can put that here, say if you want to put it right there in the middle. This goes on like this. And then this will actually slide um, into the bottom there. And then the coin mechanism will turn the teeth on this. So I'm going to put this back together and we're going to see if it works any better. All back together, clean and nice so here we go one moment okay so we're gonna take a quarter we got it back together there's a groove there um, I'm trying to focus in on that there's a little groove there then there's a little groove there and what we're going to do get it focused is we're gonna see how well it works now see if it works any better oh yeah that's smooth that's nice how about that? Yeah, that works a lot better now that it's clean. So I'm going to finish up all of them and clean that lid over there and put it back together and we'll just do a quick walk around. Okay, so I got the wife working hard. Let's get a little bit in focus because that, that look is, is killing me. She hates it. She's like, I ain't got no makeup on. I ain't got my clothes on. Anyways, I got this all cleaned up. Look how clean that is now. Nice. I mean, that's. I mean, that's. That's nice and clean. So. Still got scratched. It does, but mm, for two bucks or whatever, and we got seventy-five cents out of it. But this is the one here. Oh, one of these were the one here. I think it was this one. It had the broken teeth on it, and that it didn't want to work well. So let's put a quarter in, and see if it works. Because it didn't want to turn at all. So look at that. There's a ton of nasty syrup that was built up down there in the bottom. So we uh, just um, we just uh, took that out and cleaned it up. And 
I found that this little hole in the bottom there, there's a little notch down there, and that that actually sets in that little notch, and it works out pretty well. So let's put it back together. You want to hand me the uh, hand me that green foam thing? Let me get this. It doesn't want to fit on. Okay, you want to put it on? Yeah. Okay. Now you need the little black thing that goes on next. It goes on like that. It just pushes down. And the best part here is that the uh, um, that top came really clean. Look how clean that top got. That works out really well. So you just put your put your candy in there, and then people just vend right out of it. That'll have to go on a little bit better with two hands. Can you get it on all the way for me, Noah? This looks like it looks like either this is put in or this is sticking out. There we go. Ta-da! Where's the lock? Put it. It goes in. And I guess just for now, you can screw that down until we get another lock. And maybe that's what the other vendor did. But it's back together and it's done. Noah cleaned the base up on it. And uh, works good. All I got to do is put, I want you guys to let me know. I'm going to do a poll. What little bite-sized candies do you like? There's M&M's, there's Reese's, there's Skittles. What do you guys think? What is your favorite runts? What do you think? What would you want to put in there? Let me know. Let me know in the description below, and that will be cool. That will be awesome. You guys have a good day. Uh, keep on digging. Keep on picking. Be always looking for ways to make more money. Never get caught in a rut. Always be building your business. Have a good day. God bless. I like everything about you.